on tonight's episode. You know, I have a saying. It wasn't pretty, but it was gritty. But on tonight's win, it wasn't pretty, but it was about to get pretty damn embarrassing because the Knicks were at the Garden hosting the worst team in the league, the Detroit Pistons, home to 15 straight losses and coming in on the second night of a back-to-back. But in cardiac Nick affair, they would have this Pistons team looking like the Denver Nuggets with Cade Cunningham and Sasser and all these guys carving the Knicks up. It took a 40-point Herculean effort by Jalen Brunson, 29-point, 10-rebound effort by Julius Randle, and some timely threes by the big ragu Dante DiVincenzo to put this thing in the books and the Knicks were able to escape the garden with a 118 to 112 win over the Detroit Pistons but damn this was about to get pretty damn embarrassing yeah this Pistons team who had set a franchise record last night with their loss to the Lakers, 15 straight losses. They were playing basketball last night in Detroit, fly to New York to play Mm. a Knicks team who was off the night before that, was home resting, and it was the Knicks, of course, of course. It was the Knicks who looked like the team who was on the second night of a back-to-back. And... (laughs) Thank God for Jalen Brunson, because it wasn't for if it wasn't for his 40 plus point effort, this could have been bad. I mean, you had Cade Carvin. I mean, he was he was taking Quentin Grimes to the cleaners. There was no Nick Guard that can keep themselves in, in front of Cade Cunningham, except for Dante DiVincenzo. You had Sasser cooking him up. I mean, the Detroit Pistons had 20 turnovers in this game. We're losing by 16 in the first half. And by the second half, found themselves with a one-point lead. You can't make it up. And and the reason, listen, I said it, I said it on, on the NBA report just, just yesterday. Any given Sunday applies in the NBA, right? This is no different. But when you when I when you go through all the scenarios I gave you, there's no excuse <laughs> for this Knicks team to look like this. And that's why I'm just like, bro, like this is one of the most boring games I've ever watched. And it could have gotten very embarrassing. And the, again, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm turned up on this team despite the win is that if they take this effort into Toronto on Friday, they're going to get ran out the gym. For- Bro, this was nasty. Look, the fact that you needed Jalen Brunson to drop 42 points to put away the lowly Pistons. CP, we're not talking about no shave November. We're talking about no win November for yeah. the Detroit Pistons. And, you're, and the, this Knicks team is supposed to... This is where they played you're, last you're selling night. us a continuity. They played last night. Go ahead. You're, you're selling us a continuity. And then what does continuity do for tonight? Like, there's so many, there's so many things, man. From like quickly not having it tonight. Grimes just being a turnstile oh. tonight. RJ struggling. Oh, Randall decides Randall cruising until the second half. And I'm like, what, what's going on here? The first half was really Brunson. And then Mitch, Mitch had to play 20 minutes, CP. He had to play 20 minutes what's, in the first half. What is going on here? Against the Pistons? Against the Pistons. You're telling me that we had to give this type of effort against the Pistons. Uh, the, Herculean the effort. To come in here. The, <laughs> this should have been a bum night. Here. Good. Exactly. The Knicks should have came in here, cruised. We should have had what we saw against the the first time we played, who is the Hornets? Where it's like you have the Hornets that go to the Celtics. Remember, it's like, oh, wow, Tibbs is actually giving these guys a rest. That's how it's supposed to be tonight. But how are we going to watch the Detroit Pistons come into our house and, and give this team a run for its money? Like, I hear, I know about trap games. I know about all of that. But there's one thing to be trap game to, like, a talented team that's competitive like last year's Orlando Magic. I can accept that. I cannot accept, like, it's hard to accept that the Detroit Pistons just gave us a run for their money when this team where you have everybody, CP, and I mean everybody, every analyst out there that's like, there is bad, and then this is not even garbage that we're watching from the Pistons, but yet we allow them to look. You're saying that they looked like, what was the team you said? Oh, they I, said like? I said Denver. They look the, like the Nuggets. Teams. Yeah, I embellished a little bit, but I mean, come on, the Denver man. Nuggets. See, see, this looked like prime Warriors. This is, <laughs> they shot fifty percent. They shot fifty three percent from the field and forty three percent from downtown.
hit that thumbs up. I know everyone's aggravated. I am too. CP, Alex, it's time for a conversation. I'm gonna mm. try to. I'm gonna try to contain my anger because I waited for a good enough sample size for it to be valid mm. and warranted. Oh boy, there's one person that I am looking at now, and it's again. We start off every first quarter slow. We are in the bottom tier of first quarter points. I don't know what the solution has to be, whether that's starting or or lowering his minutes, like how they did today, and upping IQ and Dante in the in the in the final quarter. As I told you, this man gave you in the last four games zero points, zero donut, no field goal percentage tonight, six points, fifty percent, three points, twenty percent, three points, twenty five percent, donut again. Like that's a whole playoff series right there, ladies and gentlemen. When are we going to have a real conversation about Quentin Grimes? What, CP, my man, where is the development that I that I saw all summer from Penny and JJ Reddick? We're not asking him to average twenty. We're not asking him to. De- we already understand that he defends the hardest adjustment. Guess what? Yeah, that's he not didn't a compliment. defend tonight. <clears throat> that's not a, that's not a compliment to him, guys. Just because he has the hardest assignment doesn't mean that that's a good thing for the Knicks. Well, well, I mean, you, you can't. I don't think it's it's arguable that he's he's your best perimeter defender. I mean, that that says something, especially when you're playing alongside Brunson. You have RJ, who's inconsistent defensively. Like defense does matter. And, we we gotta but, give credit but, for that. But CP, you're right. That's why I'm asking Leon Rose. I'm asking the Nick fan base. We have to address this eventually later on this season it's a problem man Cade and killian went crazy yeah yeah like, they killed him. that's that's not good this game was just really ugly to watch mm-hmm. uh it's just frustrating seeing jalen brunson just do everything that he's doing i'm tired of not seeing consistently randall rj and brunson all click at the same time i think if we're gonna need if we're gonna win and do serious things we're gonna need all three of our guys to do the dang thing. And honestly, as bad as we're playing, I really think we're going to beat the Bucks on Tuesday just because okay. they just they don't slow, they they don't look like they got it all right now, man. I think we're going to Vegas. Okay. I really think we're going to go. But Let's do thank it. y'all and uh appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. All right, Al, great show, man. Check in with you tomorrow. Great job on the game of the week preview. I'll see you on the game on the NBA report, man. Three o'clock Friday. We out of here. Peace. <laughs>